from the Ultimate Killer Collection by Stuart Dandel. Available on Amazon. Arn Finnesset. The case of Arn Finnesset is a curious one. He was eventually brought to justice in 1981 due to journalistic integrity, rather than being initially uncovered by criminal investigation. The story starts with the opening of the Oracle Valley Nursing Home in 1977, where Nesset was working as the manager. At the time, there appeared to be nothing unusual about the balding, mild-mannered professional, it was only the number of deaths in the home that triggered suspicions. Even in a nursing home, the end of life wasn't meant to come knocking at the door so furiously, or so frequently. By the year of 1981, four years after the home had officially opened, a member of staff leaked the details of the death count to a journalist, along with details on the curious amount of curacet that was being ordered for the business. Curacet is a muscle relaxing anesthetic that is often used in hospitals. It is also used to euthanize horses, and is most certainly lethal to humans in overzealous doses. Armed with this information, the journalist in question approached authorities with what they knew, and the police immediately began an investigation. Although the Good Samaritan must have had suspicions to bring it to the attention of police, they wouldn't have known that they were hot on the heels of Norway's most prolific serial killer. When Arn Finnes was first brought in for questioning in regards to the matter, officers say he was calm, peaceful and polite. Not what could have been expected from a man who considered other people's lives to be, insignificant. When the question of the high amount of curacet orders at the home were put to him, Nesset simply shrugged it off, answering reasonably, that it was to remove wild dogs from the property. This seemed to placate the matter for the time being, however, the facade wouldn't last long, and soon Arn Van Nesset was admitting to his devastating deeds. 46-year-old Arn Van Nesset then started his confession in earnest, and never really looked like stopping afterwards. He soon claimed to have murdered a total of 27 patients between 1977 and 1980 before going on to state that he had murdered in the three previous positions of employment he had held, stretching back into the early 1960s. He then stated for the detectives listening, I've killed so many, I'm unable to remember them all. It would be at that moment that officers realized, they had one of the worst killers in Scandinavian history in custody. Following Nesset's remarkable revelations, Law enforcement began to list the possible victims that he could have been responsible for, beginning when he started working in care in 1962. The list came to a staggering 62 possible victims, including the 27 he had already admitted to under questioning. One of the main factors facing investigating authorities was Curacet's degradation time. After the victim had died and their body starts to degrade, Curacet becomes unstable and disappears from the system, thus rendering exhumation and autopsies useless in finding evidence. With that issue to overcome, detectives decided to focus on Nesset's reasoning for the murders, hoping to build a stronger circumstantial case. During interview, Arnfin Nesset would offer up various motives for his actions, such as acts of mercy or schizophrenic episodes. He even went as far as declaring it was for pleasure and morbid fascination. This duplicity would later form part of his defense, with his lawyers arguing that he was mentally unbalanced, which would appear to be hard to argue against, but was it enough to affect his judgment? Was he out of control during the crimes? Upon being assessed by four separate psychiatrists, Nesset was diagnosed as being fit to stand trial. It would appear that he was in control of his faculties throughout. At this point, Arn Van Nesset withdrew his confession. Eventually, and after much deliberation, law enforcement decided to charge Arn Van Nesset with 25 counts of murder that had taken place at the Oracle Valley Nursing Home. They also charged him with five counts of embezzlement and forgery after he had misappropriated some of his victims' funds.
It is often the case that when money is siphoned away during a murderous act, this is enough to disprove any notions of insanity. As his trial opened in October of 1982, Arnfin Nesset declared his innocence on all charges brought before him. In his defense, his lawyers stated that Nesset thought of himself as a demigod, and that he had reveled in his power of life and death over his elderly victims, further proving his despicable nature. On the 11th of March, 1993, the jury convicted Arnfin Nesset on 22 murder charges, one of attempted murder, and the five counts of embezzlement. He was then acquitted on the three remaining murder charges. Arnfin Nesset received the maximum sentence possible under Norwegian law, 21 years in prison, with a possibility of 10 more years of preventive detention. Arnfin Nesset was released in 2004 and has not committed any further crimes to the public's knowledge.